Sometimes when I'm making a project and I have a through tenon like this, I don't want to get glue on this part, so I might put a little pencil line here. Then I take a little bit of shellac, because shellac can go under any finish you name. Put the shellac on the surface that's going to be seen, just like this. And when you come to put your glue on, it won't be contaminated, and yet you'll still have the glueable surface. So then when we leave this to dry, put the glue on, slide your tenon into place, and it will be uncontaminated, it'll be perfect. Sometimes when I've got an inlay and it's very thin, it's hard to clamp it in the vise, it's hard to clamp it anywhere, just put a bead of glue onto the support carriage a squirt of accelerator on here, press it down into the super glue like that, and you're ready. Wait till it cures, it'll cure in a few seconds. It's gone white, so I know I'm safe now. There it is, so I've got my clear shaving now, and now I can pop it off like that. Take a chisel just to the excess on the side there and I am ready to put my inlay in place. This is a trick that I like very much. I make my own wooden push sticks for my bandsaw, drill a hole that takes the size of the magnet and then drive the screw right through the middle. So there it is magnetized and when I need it I can just put it straight onto the bandsaw anywhere close to hand. I take the corners off with my chisel, like this, and then undersize the diameter slightly, like this. That will start the hole. I often use a router to get the exact depth that I want for a routed uh, dado or groove. So I use this to get the precise distance I want. Then I chisel out the midsection and use this to take down that very last shaving that gets me a perfect depth. Sometimes when we're using a regular marking gauge uh, to mark a depth, we sometimes run past with the gauge and it doesn't stop right on the line we want. If you take your pin of your gauge, press it into the surface like that, then run your gauge along like this, it'll automatically stop in that hole. It won't go past. Oh no, broke your pencil. So what do you do? You have a chisel and you have your pencil. You take a shaving like this, just rotate your pencil with every single and you can carry on working. If you've got a dent in your wood from a hammer blow, just a wet cloth and a hot household iron. Sometimes I use super glue to strengthen the corners on a handle that I've made. I've just made this handle. If I was making this handle, I would probably go around this edge with the very thin super glue like this. Go around the edges because these edges are fractious. I go around just like this. It won't bother the finish when you come to put the finish on. Let it wick in and then I can go with a file or with sandpaper and when I come to put this together, I'll have kept these nice crisp edges and those will slide in place and it just wicks into the grain. It's perfect. It keeps it nice and solid. No fractured edges. Sometimes people have difficulty starting the saw. Here's a very simple trick. Take a flat file, take one, two strokes on the first half dozen teeth.
and the saw will start every time. Thank you.